Hello everybody and welcome to Spike Man Dan's YouTube. I'm here broadcasting live on the specific question What the hell is a DPS on the Coleman CTU 100 and the CTU 200? Well apparently as you can see here I've got the DPS unbolted off of the exhaust and as you can see what I have laid here in front of me is the whole DPS dismantled off of the exhaust and to me if you look at it it looks like a whole bunch of goddamn nonsense you got a whole bunch of Reeves louvers some kind of weird gasket nonsense and then you got the housing itself. So, what I'm going to do to advance upon my little 3 horsepower Coleman CTU 100s. I know I said that backwards. CT100U. Correction. But y'all... Oh, shit. Y'all know what I mean, right? So, anyways, moving on with the story. Basically, what I'm going to do with these parts here, I'm going to leave, I might leave this gasket in. I might. But, suggestive wise, for more airflow, I'm going to go ahead and just leave all that out. Because all the DPS is basically doing is just an airflow reduction I tested it myself by uh, lightly blowing through it with the whole mechanism together and I noticed the definite restriction when I started off really lightly and getting more pressure on heavy heavier uh, wind when I was trying to blow the wind through it with just my own lungs I noticed a definite restriction this thing's weird I'm gonna tell you right now this, this whole fucking mechanism it's just fucking ridiculous because if I started from just absolutely nothing to absolute hard fucking wind blow it would absolutely allow it. Like, it had no restriction. But then when I start off lightly blowing through it and then got heavier, there would be mad restriction. And I did not like, I did not like that at all. And I would notice that with my little engine. I'm like, why does it feel like it has more power some days and then not so much power some other days, even with the governor bypass? Well, this little son of a bitch right here might be the fucking answer. The DPS, the valve restriction on the exhaust. I kind of figured that out. Now, even though the carburetor on this whole entire bike has not been modified, you just now may have a modification by getting rid of all this stupid shit right here. It's a whole bunch of nonsense. All attached to the exhaust. Which is a bypass of the exhaust itself. I mean, really, it's like, come on. What the fuck kind of emissions bullshit are they trying to pass by us? We're not stupid. So that's really all you gotta do. It's like, if you wanna make your little Coleman CT100U three horsepower engine bike, which I'm working with, they, I, I actually went on um, gopowersports.com and I emailed them about any sort of modifications I could do to this bike. And the sad story about that is they told me I had to upgrade the whole entire engine. I had to, I basically have to buy another engine called the Predator 212. Which, don't get me wrong. That motherfucker is ballsy. 
I've seen all the reviews online. That would make this damn thing do a wheelie basically on launch, even with a goddamn centrifugal clutch. Imagine what it would do with a torque converter. That thing would be fucking nuts. And that's what the stock Predator 212 engine. And mind you, I'm also in the mitts and uh, knowledge of upgrades for the Predator 212, such as the, uh, the aftermarket exhaust pipe, the aftermarket intake, the aftermarket camshaft, the aftermarket billet aluminum rods, the aftermarket billet aluminum flywheel, the aftermarket MSD ignition, basically everything that would make this fucking mini bike a literal fucking drag bike. Oh, there's my little cat, Scamp. Say hello to Scamp, everybody. That's him. He is the Scamperoo. And that is spelled S C A M P. Scamp. He's the most awesome tabby cat anyone could ever ask for. I swear to God, he's got such a personality, too. But enough about my cat. Let's back on to the project. I'm also, like, looking for the best videos on YouTube right now for the uh, Radio Flyer go-kart wagon conversion. I'm trying to make something awesome here. Well, with that being said, y'all finally get to see my face. My name is Spike Mandan. Nice to meet y'all. To any of my subscribers, I just like to keep it real. I'm into this small engine stuff, and I hope you are too, just as deeply as I am. So keep in touch, stay subscribed, and don't forget to like my videos. My name is Spike Mandan. Go ahead and like my videos. Thank you. Well, we're going to do a little more videos on the upgrades to this bike. Don't worry about it. it. They'll be coming. As soon as I get the money and the fucking funds, excuse my language, but we're going to get it going. Trust and believe. 